Good evening, everybody. Actually, on time for the first time. <clears throat> I have got uh, three great people in the wings, but I'm just going to cover off the absolute basics first. I keep looking down here because that's that's what I'm used to looking at. But my camera is actually on top of my monitor, so that's first. So when I'm looking at the screen and you're thinking. Why has he got one eye in Wakefield and one eye in Doncaster? That's the reason why, uh, because I don't know where my chuffing camera is, and that's going to take some getting used to. Uh, that's number one. Number two, as you can see, hopefully you can see, winter is back upon us. I'm, I'm constantly doing this with my hands because I'm absolutely bagging freezing. I have had my gas fire out. You know, when you leave something for so long and you think, yeah, right, okay, now it's time to get that gas fire out. Uh, down for there, back for paint, or obviously in this case, down for gas and press for ignite, hoping that you get that little bit of a boof. Did it happen? Did it frig? Uh, so I've obviously run out of gas. I'm pissing me sen now because I can't believe that I've left it this late and I still can't get used to looking up here. Uh, good evening for everybody that's watching so far. Uh, can I have a count? I can have a count. Now I've got to look over here. I've got five on. Incredible. So not only is it cold and I've run out of gas, I've changed my camera. But but if you clocked onto the last live stream, so as you probably know, uh, I've been live streaming on my phone, which is here, look, that's here, on my little cradle, running off a Wi-Fi extender, which is over there. It's actually hidden behind this thing, which is my microphone. Uh, and running running into about two gig, and I've been absolutely tearing my hair out for months and months and months, uh, not being able to afford a PC, not being able to do anything about it, da 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 But uh, the man himself, Mr. Dave Housecroft, who I've spoken to today, uh, came through for me last month. Uh, he's, he's got this PC, we've done a deal, and now I'm on. Uh, tried to, to, to sort of do that on, on the Wi-Fi signal as well, but that weren't quite working. So I've been and bought a 50 metre, that's how far away it is to house, a 50 metre Ethernet cable, Ethernet, Ethernet, however way you pronounce it. Plugged it in and I'm now running at 108 instead of just the measly two. So if I drop off tonight, the PC is going over my knee, the keyboard's going over the top of my head, I've just about had enough because I don't know what else to do. Right, last club of the year this year, Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club, uh, number seven, you can see that. Okay, that's a seven and a star. Because we're seven years old in January, I'm feeling quite upbeat tonight because of the whole camera, Ethernet cable. I'll tell you what, I think if I'd have had gas in my bottle, I'd have been literally sat here, you know, pumping one out, but that's by the by. Uh, seven years old in January, so last club of the season, season six, calling it season six. Uh, this year, uh, and I've got some guests uh, waiting in the wings or ready to come on. We're going to chat about club today. Uh, we're definitely going to chat about competition that we've just had. We're going to chat about as biggest day that we had last uh, last session, which were an absolute ball busting amount of people down at club. And we're also going to chat about, and we want to know what you want. Uh, we're going to chat about what's on your Christmas list because. Airfix with the Sea King and that Gannet uh, high on people's lists, etc., etc. So we want to know what's on your list. Now, the only other stumbling block that I've got, if you look at my eyes, for some reason, I've got Chinese eyes. I need a shave. I've got Chinese eyes. So the monitor is just sort of far enough away that I can see the scripts, the text as they're coming in. <laughs> but it's also too far away that it's making my eyes uncomfortable and my eyes water, my eyes naturally water a lot. You don't want to know that. So, right, let's have a look here. So 0743, that's this morning, uh, go for it painting. In fact, I can show now because I've got all the tips and tricks. Now Now I've got a PC, thanks to Davy House. Uh, I've got all the, uh, all, all the gizmos to go with it now. Uh, go for it painting at 0743 this morning said hi notification on so i hope you're watching and if you're not i'm sure you'll catch up anfield road and i can hide that one now anfield road layout layout in the loft hi i uh i am mate hope you're well james nice to see you watching mate good evening good evening back 
And Eric says, hello, Mark. I met you briefly at Telford. Hope you're well. Eric, at oh, oh, now then. I did on my last video, I did go through all the people who I'd met specifically. Uh, guys in the queue talking about uh, the MRP paint. Uh, guys talking to me about the monitor situation and the breaking up of the live stream, etc. Eric, just drop me a comment, mate. Tell me whereabouts it was uh, and what it was in relation to. Listen, mate, I'm 52 and it's going. Okay, I digress. In the wings, uh, we're going to start with, we're going to start with this guy. We're going to start with competition winner, 2023, uh, Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club. I'm looking down here. I shouldn't be looking up there. I might move my camera. Uh, the one and only, Mr. Craigie Stinson. Craigie, good evening. Good e I'm sorry, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, mate? Yeah, I'm miles away then. I won't even listen to you. Sorry. Oh, thanks for that. Right, listen, let's do this. Have we got Echo? Nothing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'll tell you what, chuck me now, that's one. All right, okay, okay. So, Craig, it, winner, we are. I am going to share my screen a little bit later on. No uh, worries. It, it was such a shame on last time's live stream, mate. Uh, like I've just explained uh, to the handful of that are watching, uh, I, I had to do it on my phone. I didn't have any other means. And last time, uh, we, we chatted for literally about an hour and 45 minutes. And I'm like, right, it's Craigie's turn. Uh, and the signal on my phone just went, uh, where's my bag? <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> and just, just talk for one of a better word. So I never got around to it. So tonight we're going to have, uh, we're going to have a little bit more uh, about competition. Let me just catch up with this uh, on this right hand side. Adam says, good evening, Mark. Oh, looking for a one in forty eight Jaguar. Uh, that may release in the new year. That's talking about a uh, nice one. That's going to talk yeah. about what kits we're after for Christmas. Anfield Road, uh, Anfield, I'm just going to say Anfield Road. My name is Lee uh, here, but Airbrush uh, and Airbrush, hang on, hang on, for Christ's sake above. Uh, my name is Lee here, but Airbrush and Got Stream on. Nice one. All right, mate. Cheers, Lee. Thanks for that, buddy. And that really has not helped. Uh, and Eric says, think it was uh, in the centre hall. I think I had a white Tamiya T-shirt on, grey hair and beard, laugh out loud. Uh, Eric, nice one, mate. Cheers, Cocker. Listen, I had honestly that many people yet again come up to me at Telford uh, wanting to say hello. Uh, it was very, very difficult to keep up. Now, the difference that I made this year, I did actually take a pen and paper uh, because... Uh, I, I wanted to acknowledge and recognise the people who had, who had taken the time to come and say hello. Uh, so I can't believe I missed you. Uh, Craigie, are you warm or is it, are, you, are you in the conservatory? Yeah, yeah, I've got a couple of gas heaters on, so mm. <laughs> we're getting warm now. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a t-shirt soon. Maybe that art in here oh, soon. Oh, thanks I've got two, I've got two hoodies on, man. <laughs> I'll be in my oh. underpants, honestly, it gets that off thanks, here. Thanks for that, Lee. Like, we don't want to see that. <laughs> right, next in the queue, next in the queue, we're going to have, let's get this little wee fella on, Lewis the Krupp Dell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll slip you a five the next time. Cheers, mate. Yeah, that doesn't do not for memory, that, mate. Lewis, good evening. Good evening. Are you well? Shh. What's right, Lewis? What's the crop there in your name? Explain to me and Craigie what that's all about. Um, I can't remember what day one might be Tuesday, but um, I don't know what it was last Saturday. I uh, built these two Ruby comps here. The uh, Yard Panther and Panther G. I sent them to him, a picture of them, and he says, uh, You make them crop with German. Uh, Tank are like um, cook, and, then, okay, and that's um, where it's from. Right, okay. German uh, nickname. Martin Bedell will be happy with that. Thanks for joining me this evening, mate. Uh, I'm going to go through the figures in a short while uh, because I do do club first. And last but definitely not least, 
Here he comes. Uh, in fact, here they come. Andy and Jean. And Jean's going to bat me for that. Jean made us a gorgeous cake today and brought it into Club Andy. Thank you for that. And thank Beautiful. you, Jean. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Bill, can we look at him? Yeah, she's, uh, she was determined to bring something with it being last one at year. So she decided yeah. to just knock something up. So, yeah, just very nice. Yeah. Just Happy knock days. something up. Usually, me, well, me, but you were a cake today, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Right, last club of the year today, season at six is well and truly finished. Let me just have a look here. So, 18 people in today, lads. So, I'm going through register myself and Mr. Chris. Chris Barlow, always nice to see, and Ian as well. But, Ian, we're running a little bit late, but nice to see, Ian. Uh, Big Trev, as usual. No Dave, no David House today either because of the snow. Fraser is wrapped up in children's bubble. Uh, but Bill popped in as well, always nice to see. And your Mark come all the way from Scunthorpe, which is a right trek. Gene and Andy, uh, who've hit, hit really good numbers this year, you two guys, Gene and Andy, 20 out yeah. of 22 meetings. So thank you for that. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, in fact, I haven't. Where's my bloody pen? I haven't even. I was that busy today. I've, do you know what I've, I've done today? I've actually managed to spend some time with Barry today, which were really, really nice. Craigie on an equally good number, 18 out of 22. Doug took my sidekick on 21 out of 22. Young Lewis on 20 out of 22. Well done for that, young man. Uh, Derek on 17, and I think oh, we had Neil Henry in as well. Neil Hendry, and we also had Bob from Doncaster and Barry and Mr. Chris, number two, on 18 out of 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 boys and girls in today, and in Norfolk. Yeah, yeah, a bit quiet compared to last week, but uh, understandable uh, with the weather and whatever, uh, and it is getting close to that time of year that I won't mention. Uh, so people are probably uh, getting ready for the festive season. But still an eye uh I've got a fair bit done, actually, to be honest. Uh, oh, I started the bike. Going? I've, what have you been uh, doing? Started that today. All right. Oh, Paul Radcliffe will be. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure. Let me just send Paul a message. I'm pretty sure that Paul is building that exact. Uh, what 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 model is it, Andy? It's the Suzuki GSX 1100S. I'm it's sure the that's Tamiya one in twelve. Right, sorry for this. So I just need to do do this. Right, I pinged him. I'm I'm pretty sure, but uh, Paul has uh, absolutely butchered his to death, mate, and he's doing some kind of. I think we call it a cafe racer, Andy. Are you familiar with the term? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's a uh, throw back to when we racing from cafe to cafe in in London and places yeah, like that. Right. They were just stripped down and just. Used to go really quick all over the place like uh, normal motorcyclists uh, don't. Uh, yeah, but that one is going to be bog standard because I, I don't like the look of them. So it'll be just an uh, out of the box build, not special. Now, I've bought, I don't even know where I put it. Oh, it's there. I've bought the Italieri one in nine. Zundap motorbike and sidecar. So I've never built a bike before. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit, you know, a bit of trepidation. On the road. But when, when you build aircraft, Andy, you know, you know, for, for the main yeah. part, let's get the office done. Let's get the sides together. Let's get the wings on. Let's get the bombs made. I've not built a bike before. I'm a little bit. You know what I mean, have I got anything to be scared yeah. of? 
Not really. There can be fit issues with them um, because the, the, there's. Um, it, it depends on the model and how how you you assemble it. You've really got to sometimes uh, look pretty far on because you might be caught out with cables or things like that uh, that need routing in a specific way. So it's well worth going from one to twenty-four or whatever. And just seeing where everything sits and lays, and uh, especially with these sort of things, uh, you sometimes find uh, it's not on the side, I don't think. But if you've got a rear brake, you can have an hydraulic line, and if you don't uh, compensate for it in the build, it looks stupid. Stuff like that, right? Uh, um, yeah, uh, connecting rods like this one, the gear, the, the, the gears just on the left, I think. And uh, the, the connecting rod can be really finicky, so you've got to make yeah. sure you get that right so you can get the exhaust right. It's just a case of planning it. A lot of dry fitting with bikes, I think. I don't know what anybody right. else thinks. You've absolutely shipped me up there. You've given me no confidence whatsoever. No, I have. I've given you. I've given you all all pitfalls. Like if you look at the front and the brake, the disc brakes. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. You'll get the 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 piping that goes from the handlebars down to the, the disc. Uh, yeah. And if you're not careful uh, and don't plan it, if you don't get them collect correctly routed, it'll look a complete dog. But right. stuff like that, I've learned, just plan ahead, just, do, you know, try fitting, check this, check that, check other, uh, and make sure when you actually, uh, you'll cut the tubing, uh, they'll give you a lens and make sure you get that lens on the right bit. Otherwise, it'll look a complete doggy. And they'll be stood there going, why don't that fit? Because you've got the wrong bit on. Uh, but apart from that, they're usually pretty good. There's not a great deal to them. Uh, I think there's only two, two and a half sprues in here. So it's basically just oh, putting I... two hours together. Uh, the frame, usually, you do the start with engine uh, and then work out... Uh, Engine calves in this air box, they'll go together, and then you'll get the the, the frame comes into house, which makes either side of the engine, which hold the yeah. engine in, and then it's working out one way or other. But like as you do, look at it, decide which way you're going to do it, but make sure you get things like the cables and connecting rods in the right place. So don't worry, you the money or caliber will. They'll walk it, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I will. Yeah, Jeannie, what are you? Are you building at minute then, Jean? What are you doing? I'm doing the Sherman. It's not what? the Sherman you'll see, right? No, it's the Cupid Sherman. Oh, I, thought you, I, thought said, I thought you said Sherman. I thought you were going to church it morning, darling. Sherman. Right, cool. I get enough Sherman, mate. <laughs> It's yeah, different. Other than planes and cars, just a bit of fun. Do you know what? I I, I am gonna I am gonna chat about that in in a little bit because that is definitely something that I've chatted about with uh, Mark Lid today. Uh, Lewis, what are you on with, mate? You'll never guess. I'll never guess. I bet it's a Meng Panzer or something. Oh, oh, oh my God! You've come oh, on to the dark that. side. Oh, nice. That looks all right, that, mate. He'll have it knocked together in half an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, oh, so you got, yeah, yeah, so you're starting from the chassis up with that, then. Yeah. yeah. Didn't hear that. No, I'm, I'm having trouble hearing, Lewis. I am. So that again, mate. I've been doing it on and off for about a month or so. Shut up. You haven't been doing that for a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, right, okay. And uh, Craigie, you've been to work this afternoon, Craig, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Just got back What did you have? A mouse, a mouse in a factory? A couple of mice, yeah. Couple of mice. Did you put your big boots on, mate, and stamp them out? Yeah, found them out, got rid of them. Job done. Easy money. 
<laughs> Easy money. Right, let me just... So, I want to... I'm going to share my screen. I want to share my screen because uh, I want to uh, get rid of that. Put that onto there. So... Wow. Uh, I know, mate. I know. I'm still... I'm Boys still and his toys. I know, don't even... <laughs> <laughs> like I know what I'm doing. Right, let me have a look here. Uh this side did here. Back into that because I want to I want to find uh I'm sure I put I'm sure I put your pictures on today, Craigie. You did. I'll call you. Did, the photos. You did. Here we go. Here we go. Right, can you see if I click on that? If I double tap on Keep that, there you go. Yeah, ignore so, the mate. Just get the model. Yeah, I'm not. I'm no, I want to get you in, but I am trying to. I can't do it. Why can't I do that? Exit full screen. Let me just exit. Uh, exit full screen there. I'm gonna have to go back into that and double click that one right have you got that on full screen now guys yeah yeah craig you talked to us about that then so let me just say craig competition winner uh club competition winner this year craig starting at the back going up the back and then the full truck mate what have we got on screen there so starting on the back we've got two accurate arm figures yeah then moving on to the field bed, we've got a 432 track and 432 with the accurate armor ambulance conversion kit. Yeah, the metal track. Sorry. Then at yeah. the front of the trailer, we've got another track and 432. Is that is that one? Yep, yeah, the infantry carrying vehicle. Yep, yeah. yeah, and then. The actual truck itself is the Obibos Scammel Commander. Now, paint, paint of choice. What? Why? Why have we gone? Why have we gone white, mate? I did it as in the Bosnia UN conflict in 1993. Mm -hmm. So every Scammel Commander you see are in green and sand for uh, for Iraq one. So I just want to be different and come completely away from everybody else and stand out from the crowd. Cool. Uh, certainly done that, mate. Uh, there's your gold trophy for coming first place in class. <coughs> and there is the club shield and your names across there, I do believe. Yep. Uh, let me just see if I can. Uh, in fact, I will. I can. I have got. I can zoom in. For the people who are watching, uh, and then I'll go back to the live stream for the comments. So we've got a couple of figures here, Craig. Yeah. What What's he got in his hand there? One's got a flask and a cuppa, and the other one's got a cuppa in his hand. I like it. So there's something a bit different than having rifles. And weathering, we've got uh, different weathering techniques across here. I'm looking at. Oh yeah. Both were completely different. I tried different methods on both the armored personnel carriers. Yeah. So it was just trial and error with stuff. Absolutely trial and error. Trial and error with stuff. Uh, yeah. Loving it, mate. Love the layout. Absolutely fantastic. And then we've got a dual deal just lent up. Yeah. That, what? What? Armor. Thing. What? Armor. Happy days. Uh, moving along, uh, our club competition winner 2023, Craig Eastins. Uh, looking the part there in the old soft shell. I hate them photos. <laughs> you don't hate them photos. Why do you hate them photos? I just do. I don't know. Shut up, That's a better one. That's a better one. It's a, no, it's a bonny hat, mate. That's a bonny hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Lois, you're back on with us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and sounding a lot better as well. Sounding a lot better. Uh, what am I doing? I am currently building. 
I'm currently building a, a one in 24 looking for box, can't find it. One in 24 London bus, which is there. Uh, it's a double decker bus, and I'm building that for uh, a lad at work whose dad uh, used to drive them, I do believe. So I'm currently building that. Although not spending as much time in here lately because it's been absolutely freezing. It's been freezing, been freezing. Right, let me have a look at. Well, I'm building. I'm building something totally different. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one in 35 Takum Apache. Cool. Wow. Well, all right. Yeah, it's all right. I've, I've just never built something like this before. So it's a massive learning curve. Same with me with bike. bike. But I'm enjoying it. It's fiddly, but I'm enjoying it. We'll get there. Cool, Brid. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, right, comments. So, well, everybody's saying hello to each other. Uh, Eric says, I'll slip you a fiver next time. Like I said, mate, uh, it's not going to help me brain that, but cheers. Uh, I'll take that fiver off you. Let's make it a tenner. Rob says, evening all. Uh, and the one and hey, only Mr. Bridge house there. Comments hey, Bridge. Bridge. Hope you all had a great club and a good nosh. We certainly did. So, uh, back to I up. apologise. Andy Norfolk. Yeah, we're going to come to Yo. you, Craig. Andy Norfolk, after last club day of the year, where do we go yeah. and what do we do? Well, you've been announced that we're going to... We've got the competition for next year. Uh, year going to... This year, this year, this year. Where do we go this year? Oh, this year, we're next week, it's uh, spending time. Where have we been today? today. Let's rewind it. <laughs> oh, today? Right, well, make your mind up. We're uh, going, <laughs> we went to um, Redbeck for a, a meal. Uh, a, a rather nice luncheon at the Redbeck Cafe, which is a favourite of ours, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, good dough, nice meal, nice food, good laugh. Even though Bill were there, but there we go. We have to suffer him now and again. Bless him. <laughs> no, no doubt I'll get called for that. Yeah, we're a good deal. Uh, we got the little room, or the majority of the little room for uh, for us. Uh, and you had a burger, didn't you? I had a meal, and you walked in with half the fridge on your plate when you when you turned up, mate, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, because normally. Normally on club day, we have we, we've got a great little cafe that serves us with the girls, uh, and, uh bacon butty South Kirby. But this year, because the order was so small, I think there were only two orders went in. I know Lewis wanted one, uh, she said we can't really do with that, mate. So, but it didn't really matter because it makes for a better appetite. I got one on way over anywhere, I know you did. I'm going to agree to spoon. Uh, but honestly, mate, by, by the time we got to Redbeck, I was absolutely famished. Did you see what George demolished? Yeah. Yeah. It's taking after his father, isn't it? Do you know what, Andy? There's absolutely no filling that lad. No filling him. No. I, I was saying when I was his age. Uh, but yeah, he did well. Uh, the, the foe down there, it's basic, but by hell, it's good. It? It's, it's, yeah, that, that's literally it, isn't it? If you want chips, egg yeah. and beans, you're going to get chips, egg and beans, but it's great chips, egg and beans. Yeah. It, I mean, at, at, at the end of the day, it is a transport calf or originated a transport calf, but it's open 24-7. Yeah, yeah it is. 365 is that place. It is, mate. And do you know what? The girls in there as well. If you've ever been to a McDonald's that seems to be like, say, for example, in the middle of a city, and they're all absolutely flying around, those people have got nothing, nothing on the staff at the Red Beck no. because their nothing. girls never stop. No, they don't. You're right. Never and stop. They're, they're not job inside out, don't they? So it's like, Oh, you know, you never stuck for out, are you? No. You never stuck for out, so, yeah. Right enjoyable, right enjoyed it. 
You know, Clem ended up with cake. At, like, what were left at cake? Oh, oh did... Lewis might have been. Oh, did No, I didn't. Did she take it off your mum? What? Don't you want to take it off your mum? No. <laughs> no. So, oh, God, let me add I uh, about, a, like, about a third of cake, yeah, bless yeah. him. So, that was no problem. No, uh, no, but no, he no. still had... He has two puddings at Redbeck. He had three. Well, oh, sorry, he had three. Ah, he's got all the bones <laughs> as that, Ian. He's a glowing yeah. man. Let's see ya. All the legs. Yeah, all the legs, as James has legs. said. Uh, it was a different club today because, like we said, we had 19 people in. Uh, for people who follow my vlog on uh, when, when I talk about club, last, last uh, meeting, uh, we actually had, and, and I had counted it wrong, uh, we had 39 in at the last meeting, including Sean from SGS Models. So, although 18... For us, Andy, you said it straight away. It felt it felt pretty empty, and but you've got to yeah. think on, mate. Eighteen people—that's not empty at all. No, no, but clubs, it, it just uh, yeah, it just goes to, to show what numbers we're yeah, used to. Absolutely, I, I know people that run physical clubs that would kill for eighteen people week in week out, and we call eighteen yeah. quiet. Yeah. Which is right, though, isn't it? It is. And that's testament to everybody that comes. Absolutely. So, uh, I am actually going to do... Uh, I'm going to do a, a, a little bit of a... Am I going to do it? Because I'm going to do... I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. What are you going to do? Well, do you know what, Andy? Obviously, uh, you, you know I keep a register in a book. And, and I've literally yeah. been... The pages back on every month, and I've looked, I've looked through all the comments that I write down about what's happening and who's done what, and one thing or another. And, yeah. and I have actually written down uh, all the meetings in a in a sort of synopsis, if you will. Uh, yeah. On on what we did last year as a, as a 2023 wrap up video. Chuff it, let's go. First first meeting in January, right? So. Because obviously you guys are club guys. First meeting in January. This is we're nearly we're, we're nearly twelve months back here, Andy, Craig, and yeah. Lewis. We had twenty nine people in that day. Yeah, uh, and we welcomed in Neil Hendry, Derek Clark uh, to the Lawson Hut. So that was back in the day when we were in the Lawson Hut, the little squeaky shed. Yeah, uh, and Sean from SGS Models had started to become a bit of a regular member. Uh, Craigie, while Sean's been coming Hello. in, have you been have you been dabbling across his table and picking anything up while he's been in? Yes, but I haven't. Yeah. What we what we had? We've got quite a few bits from him, actually, mainly for the Apache. Yeah, there's just no end of stuff I picked up off him for it. Absolutely, Andy. What's it like having Sean in? So Sean. Sean runs SGS model store in Leeds. He works from home and he comes to club to see something other than four walls. What's it like having Sean down at club, mate? It's cost me a bloody fortune, that look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my well, it, when you sat there and he brings Vulcan out, right, and he brings Vulcan out, the black, whatever it is, I can't remember, and then yeah, the somebody says... Oh, that looks nice. All right. So what can I do? Yes, madam. Yes. So, Gannick's on its way. That's ordered. But I think she might have paid for that herself. I'm not... You know that Gannick? So it's like, oh. Go on. I could have brought you that Gannick today. What are you looking at me for? Look at him. But she, she thinks it's pretty. Sean sent me a message the other day saying, my gannets are in. The people at Club right. have ordered gannet, uh, do you want to take them to give them to the lads and lasses at Club on Saturday? Yeah. And I said, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, as, as a bit of a surprise. 
and he said, "Well, I'll send the yeah. message out saying uh, if you if you need to pay for it, pay for it, and I'll give it to Mark, and then he can bring it in." But nobody sort of cottoned on, so that's why I didn't bring him in, mate. All oh, right. Well, we didn't see out, mate. To be honest, so. Yeah, but uh, uh, it, it, it's great because I, I, I spent a, 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 some... I don't want to decry the bloke. It sounds like I am, but I'm not. Uh, when I did my paints and all that, I bought all them off him. Uh, and some racks. I got a rack off David Housecroft. I've got the old rack that I bought off you. Um, yes. But it's just like, can you get us this, Sean? He'll just go, yeah, write it down. And next thing you know, it's on bench next time. So you yeah, can't mate. knock the block. It's really, and it's nice that you can. He'll either turn around and say, "Well, I can't or I can't," and it's just like brilliant. It yeah. you'll love yeah. it, don't you? Yeah. 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 Lois, you spent a few quid with Sean over the last twelve months, haven't you? Yep. Yeah. I've uh, <laughs> that Barder Models McCarvery put on. Uh, I've got that off him. Yeah. So that's another uh, seventy quid. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Cost you seventy quid. Yeah. But, yeah, cost his mum seventy quid, Andy. Let's, let's be absolute. Well, yeah. Bless her cotton socks. Gold beans. Uh moving on, January yeah. second meeting we had twenty-three in. Uh, and we welcome Mr. Chris Smith for the first time. Everybody's getting on really well Chris with Chris. He's really gelled in, hasn't he? Yep, yep. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody that got it's it getting really tight as a club, mm. and you know it's just it, it it's a it's a pleasure to have that many people where you can just turn up on a Saturday and just have a right laugh and get some building done. It, it's just working really well. Happy days, music to my ears. On February, uh, our first meeting, we had 25 in, and we were celebrating the fact that, I'm going to go and get it, uh, we were celebrating the fact that we'd won the best table <laughs> of the Bolton show. Yeah. So, <clears throat> bear with. And we, got, we did get our trophy. Uh, we got our trophy. Okay, which I was fortunate enough to pick up at the Telford show, uh, and uh, and there you go. That's that's the little award for winning the best table at Bolton. What's in the Have you all got? No, it, 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 I'm surprised you could manage to pick it up, mate. Mate, it weighs an absolute ton. It looks <laughs> like it. You were struggling there, weren't you? Sorry, mate. I got slightly distracted there. We'd lost some uh, glue, but we found it. Uh, we found yeah. It. I suppose. I mean, we, we started off with day. a. We, yeah, go, go on. on. At the end no, of the day. No, we started day, off with right. a piece of A4, didn't we? Yes, mate. For the, the pride. And yeah. now we've ended up with a, a nice badge. Yeah, let me just see yeah. if I can find. I'm just going to go back across my Facebook pictures uh, and see if I can find. Where is it? There. Right, just bear with me while I uh, have a look and see if I can find this picture for you. Da -da -da. I'm going to knock that in the head. I'm going to open another link, which is that one. I'm starting to get jewel drops. I'm starting to get jewel drops. I'm not happy. Why are you cold in there? Shut up, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Hey, yeah. Uh, can I just let you know that we're all suffering? It's nearly twenty degrees in this room, mate. So I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling just to, you know, I'm gonna have to get some more fluid down me. <laughs> I shall ask my assistant, darling. Could I have some more refreshment, please? We're just going into the beer fridge that's down here, mate. Next to the nice. radiator. The radiator. Oh. oh, there we go. Look, thank you. Cheers. Thanks for that. <laughs> Somebody's looking at me going, wait till I get him. I can see it in his face, yeah. look. Mm. Yeah. I'm actually just scrolling uh -huh. through Facebook 
<laughs> let me, in fact, what can I'm going to see if I can put and I can I put screen in screen. I can double that up. I can move that one across there. Yes. Can I get a bit of advice? I've um sort of done something by accident. Well, your fingers might as well. I done. Go on. What have oh. you done? I was blowing it in place, and my finger just slipped because it's so like. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is that a glow print? Is that a glow yeah. print you've left, mate? Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, let me good. just go on to comments here. So, uh, we'll Ray's moral to Ray and good evening. Him. Bloody, bloody hell, it's cold. It certainly is. Uh, and Adrian AD says, evening all from a very snowy. And cold Sweden, 25 centimetres of snow at minus 14 at the minute. So I'll tell you what, we think we've got it back. Yeah, but they can still get to work, snow. can't they? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let me, I'm just scrolling through to see if I can find the picture that I'm after. Uh, how far back do I have to bloody go here? What are we looking at here? November 23rd. I'm looking for our uh, group photo, mate, that I want to share on the stream of all of us stood at the Bolton table to justify this fantastic... Fantastic, fantastic award that we got. And again, it's not about the actual size of the plastic, is it? At the end of the day, it's about the, the fact that we won. We won it. We won it. Club won it. Club won. Hey, young ones are down. And I'm still scrolling. I'm I'm going right back now, Hello. and I can't see. So, what are you doing? Building this road tread up. Oh, is that Loggy Bear? Loggy Bear's made an appearance. Loggy's arrived. Loggy Bear. Loggy Bear. <laughs> Dad wants to call me Loggy Bear for. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? It's just someone that's stuck. <laughs> Am I the only one? Am I the one that calls him Logan Bear or does everybody call him it? We call him Bear at home. Bear? Yeah, just Bear. <laughs> I don't know bear. why. I love it. That's better. Yeah. Bear. Logan Bear. Good time. Bear. He's the man. Bear. Bear's the man. I'd hate to tell you what I get called. <laughs> <laughs> You do some Lego building. Well, I bet you can imagine. I don't know if you want to I can imagine. While I'm scrolling, uh, have you seen the piece that Graham has put on the the tank he's built for the uh, with his first airbrushing session? No, I haven't. Yeah. Uh, he's posted he's posted a picture on to, to our Facebook group. Uh, first tank built with airbrush. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. <laughs> absolute night and day that and, I, and i'm not i'm yeah. not cri <laughs> criticizing the bloke because he's a great fella but he came to club with with never trying an airbrush ever before in his life and literally four weeks later he's built this tank uh and he's airbrushed it uh and it looks absolutely mint it does it does, it looks it does pay doesn't it to airbrush it does cocky, yeah. It does, no matter what anyone says. For some reason, I cannot find this photo. Let me have a look up here. Great. Uh, we got here content. Uh, if I um, get older men, will this will they be able to send like a spare out or something? Possibly. Yeah. yeah. But if you start men. sending it, I'll offer yeah, like, men. Yeah, I'd send something. Like a 2000, you'll be able to put, polish it out then. Eh? Yeah, possibly, mate. That's I've been trying that. Yeah, start off with like a, a real, even a 240 or something like that, really aggressive, and work through your sanding 
till you get to like 2000 and it should yeah. pull it out. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It's, uh, maybe. Or, do it maybe, maybe. Time. Put a drill hole in it and put some things so it looks like it smashed it itself. Like a bullet. Oh, yeah. Thing is, though, I was debating doing it either as the one with the anti aircraft gun on or doing it as just a civilian one. Do the anti aircraft gun on and some dude sat inside with a bullet hole through him. <laughs> I'll see if I can get this studying yeah. glue marker out. Right. <laughs> right like I'm going to do it as standard one and put a redneck on it with a shotgun in his hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, James says that'll buff out. James, uh, obviously you can see young Lewis there. Uh, if you've got any more on that'll buff out, please share that. Uh, the model student says yes. It's also what we got here. Yeah. Uh, yikes! It's a balmy th plus three degrees with a a, sm uh, a smuttering, a smattering of rain here in Ontario. Andy, somebody's watching. In Ontario, mate. Where's that? Ontario, Canada. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll be. Canada. They're a bit snowy, are not they? Very snowy. We don't talk about Ontario, don't we? Oh, bilious. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. Ontario, <laughs> hello, Canada. Is it Canada? Right, listen, I'm move it? on. Let me move on. Let me move on. I'm trying to do a year's a, a year's review here. So, first meeting in February. <laughs> Uh, we were celebrating best table at the Bolton show. Uh, second meeting in February, we made alterations to the 2023 competition because originally uh, for this year, uh, with uh, sorry for 2024 competition, originally we'd started off with something. It didn't quite sit right. We changed it. We changed it, and then we finalised. We finalised that. Uh, First meeting in March, 20th, Smith, who we welcomed in January, became a full member. And to become a full member down at Sesco, uh, we invite you down for two free meetings just to get a flavour. Uh, and uh, the problem is, is once you join this club, you never leave. So Chris Smith, full member uh, in March. Second meeting in March, uh, I've written in the book, SGS uh, in again, and Sean getting really comfortable at club. And he started bringing Dale. Now, personally, from from my point of view, Dale is a chap that I work with and came to Telford with us this year. Everybody's made him feel really, really welcome, despite the fact that he can only come when Sean comes because Sean picks him up. Uh, but thanks to absolutely everybody that's made Dale feel really welcome and he feels really comfortable now. First meeting in April, uh, we had 19 in. I think that was one of our lowest numbers. And the merch order and die, uh, merchandise orders were going in thick and fast for the fifth year anniversary stuff. And on the, uh, this is a chat we can talk about. On the second meeting in April, we had 20 in and we welcomed Barry for the first time, Andy. Have you caught? Have you been Barry. To with Barry? Barry. Yeah. Uh, did he bring that Spitfire in today? Is that Barry? Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm like with his, mate. What a lovely bloke he is. Lovely uh, he's, he's XRDF, as far as I can remember, isn't he? Still flying now. Still flying now? Yeah, still flying Bloody now. Hell. Yeah, it took, uh, it took Mark Bridge up about two months since, two or three months since, took Mark Bridge up. Oh, right. Yeah, Bridget, tell me about that. That's pretty yeah, cool. That... Didn't he go from Fenton? Yeah, from Fenton. Fenton? Yeah. yeah, mate. Yeah. Excellent. Really nice guy. Uh, well, I might have to have a look at him because uh, Jean's never flown. She's never been. I've, I've actually taken her into Eden or what they ever call it now, Leeds Bradford. Because she's never yeah. been in a bloody airport. Uh, and I'm yeah. determined to get to flying sometime. Uh, it's something I've done a yeah. lot of. I've Speak done to Paddy, thousands and thousands of miles. Well, there we go. How's about that? That'd be really cool. That. Yeah. yeah, really nice chap, and he's, he's and stuff he's producing, and he's not scared of asking either, is he? 
you know, he'll oh, come up to it, he'll come up to you and say, now do I do this, now do I do that, and I'll do that. And it, yeah. it's worked, that's how the club works, isn't it? That's what we're there for. Uh, right, so, after the second meeting in April, we always have the 24-hour build. Now, this year, uh, we, ra we wanted to raise... So, for the people who are watching, club, right, club... We've always picked uh, either a, a really big charity or a little charity that's close to our hearts. And, and what we try and do is we try and raise a little bit of money uh, for somebody that, you know, could need it. So when we first did it, we raised £128 for cancer research. And, and in the grand scheme of things, you say, that's probably not even going to provide one nurse half a day, a full day's care to, to somebody. But... The fact of the matter is, is that the club, we all came together, we went out on the streets with buckets uh, down in our local town and we rattled them and shook them and, and one thing or another, uh, £128 for cancer research. The year after that, we uh, we held a raffle down at club. Uh, we, we I, I got hold of my great friends at Bart Sharp, people at work, people at club, and the kits were donated, airbrushes, bottles of wine, bottles of whiskey, all kinds of things. But to enter that, comp that, to enter that raffle, you, you didn't buy any raffle tickets. You had to bring some food. Uh, and the more food that you brought in, the more tickets that you are eligible to get. Uh, and the, the, all the food and everything that people brought in, we, we, we totted it up. 150 quid with a full beer. <laughs> then we did models. Then we had a two year break because of the bloody COVID thing. Then we did models for heroes. Uh, and we were very, very pleased to hand over a check to Malcolm uh, for £3,576. £3,576. So we were happy with that. Uh, and then this year, because my daughter wanted the cadets for five years. I know the, the cadets are in. To to buy a monitor and a joystick and a, and a flight sim, basically, because they are, after all, the air cadets. Uh, and I put our services forward and said, "Look, you know, we're going to we're going to do a bit of a charity run for you." And what we've done over the last two two years, maybe even three years. Uh, we've done a 24-hour build at club. We've built a massive, great big warship that Paul Patton finished off for us uh, the year after we built anything. And this year we've built anything. Uh, and uh, young Lewis uh, man managed to do the full 24 hours. We actually raised uh, £650, which was absolutely fantastic. Fortunately, the people who I work with... Because they are such a great company, if I can prove that we've raised that money, which I did through a just giving page, uh, as long as they can acknowledge that, they will match whatever we've raised. So in total, we gave the cadets uh, £1,000, uh, and the, they were able to buy absolutely everything they wanted. Full big monitor, big, big monitor, full joystick, the games console, uh, the flight sim and everything, and now they are the talk of the cadets because they've got all that equipment, which were brilliant. First meeting in May, Barry becomes a full member because he's done his two for free. Second meeting in May, we're looking at the Telford organisation, uh, and we're halfway through my charity run this year, Kits for Kids with Black Rifle Model Works. Uh, first meeting in June, we are prepping for the Cubs coming in. So again, just as another little side, a little side project, we've got Mark, uh, Mark Little, uh, part of our admin team, and Angie Little, lovely lady. She's our events manager, and we're chatting away, and she's saying, you know, I've got, we've got some Cubs, a Cub Scout sort of group. Uh, is there anything that we can do for them? So we, we got some, I, I wrote to Airfix and said, you know, do you do like a, a bit of a, you know, a bumper pack for for places like the Cubs and the Scouts and one thing or another? Absolutely we do. It's it's 30 quid, which we were happy to pay for. Uh, and we had about 12, 14 Cubs in. You were in that day, Craig, weren't you? I was, yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, and we sat with the Cubs, didn't we? Well, you guys did. Uh, <laughs> and, and what did you build? What the tank was so, it? Uh, a Mark, Mark 5 tank, was it? I can't remember, mate. Tank. Have you got one? I'm sure Two you've seconds. got one. Yeah, back up, mate. Back up. <laughs> well, be there. Uh, and also, as that as it sounds, bearing in mind that now we're into December, I've also written there from my notes in the book, and this is the first meeting in June, we were actually talking about live streaming. So, first time, let me... Right, yeah, yeah, I'm going to so make... Right, hold it there, Craig. I'm going to tap on your thing there. I'm going to make yep. you big. Let's yep. see if I can. Wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> Ticket alert. Hang on. Now I've removed you from the screen. I'm going to have to have you back. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm not. I'm not doing well. I'm at. Right. Let me tap on that one and see if I can. Dra I've there dragged you, you back. In now look. So that's Bogan. <laughs> that's that's the bear's effort. That's the bear's effort. I'm happy with that, mate. Oh. So, those those, uh, those quick kits, they come in... Uh, they're not, are they in boxes, Craig? Or are they, they're in bags, aren't they? Yeah, they're in bags, yeah. They're in bags. But, take nothing away from the plastic that's inside. It's all good, mate, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. It was brilliant. Uh, <laughs> and I also think, do you get paints and brushes and wristbands and things like that? Yeah, I think they were, weren't they? If I remember rightly. You do, mate. Didn't they? So, if you've got... Uh, people just don't know, you know. And people will be watching this and going, oh, chuffing on, I didn't know that. Do you know what? If, uh, if, if you've got, like, a, a Boy Scouts, a Girl Guides, one of those little organisations that you think, actually, you know, I'd love to do something like that next year for, for my boys and girls. If you go onto the Airfix website and look at, uh, I'm pretty sure that there'll be a search bar in there. And if you look for uh, group started type things, it's 30, 35, 40 quid at most. Uh, and they send it to you, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, first meeting in June. So, yeah, pre, uh, prep for the club's tank build and live, live streaming pre plan. On the second meeting in June, I had to email uh, Upton Village Hall because he sent me an email saying that Julie, if you remember from one of the vlogs last year, Andy Norfolk, yeah. Julie wouldn't budge. Julie wouldn't budge, would she? She would take no. up the slot that we currently got. Yeah. She didn't want to go until this year. Uh, so we, we, we ended up with library and it sort of constricted us quite a bit. And then all of a sudden, we found out that she were uh, she were going. She's gone. Bless her. Yeah. Bless her. Oh, Julie, thank you for putting all those local girls through their dance medals. I'm sure that every single one of them appreciates it, but not as much as we appreciate you vacating and giving us the big haul. Yeah. In July... I put a vote on the, uh, I put a, a, a poll on the Facebook group saying Upton Village Hall or Badsworth Lawson Hut, please vote. And overwhelmingly, uh, and that means 100%, voted to move to Upton Village Hall, which is where we are now. Second meeting in July, we had 19 in. That was our last meeting in Badsworth. Uh, and uh, and this chap called Rue got us some coasters. Oh, yes, yeah, we've got, have we've got, got a full there? set. Yes, we have. Coasters. Come on, let's have a look. What do you want? Just get one. We, I was <laughs> walking around uh, uh, Ossip Market and uh, I, I saw these. It, it, have we got another one now, please? We saw this guy had a, 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 a store for tiles. Now, this is the sort of thing that I saw. I don't know if I'm getting any light on that. Yeah. Uh, so and you have several, several different designs. Uh, when, you mainly say aircraft. Tile, when you say a tile, 
mean when you say a tile? What do you mean yeah. a tile? Literally, a tile. All right. It's a terracotta tile. Yeah. That he, he uh, I don't know if it's etching or uh, transfers the image some uh, chemical way to do it. Uh, and I said, oh, that's all right. And then we, we had a bit of a, a natter with myself and I thought, can you do some for club? So you said, yeah, give it a go. And you sent me a design and I sent it to him and he came up with these. So I'm just trying to get it so you can actually see the image. And Are you getting that? Uh, is it upside? All oh, right. Now I've got it there. Right. So yeah. I've got the Phoenix on in the clouds and Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club. And that's on that's on those terracotta ceramic tiles, mate, isn't it? Yeah, exactly the same. So, yeah, we got them sorted out and they, they went down pretty well. So, you know, yeah. I have got a couple left. I have got a couple left. I'll have one off. Can I have one, please? All right, mate. Yeah, no drama. Uh, I don't know if you can remember. I'm just going to arbor back to that 24-hour build because young Lewis, young Lewis took part as well, right? Uh, yeah. You know, you've got, you've got to remember, I've met him big screen as well. Don't uh, don't be frightened there, young Lou. Uh, so, so at the time, young Lou is 15, uh, and his mum, Victoria, who's an absolute sweetheart, she's entrusting us, Andy, isn't she, with his well-being, which we obviously did. Yeah, we had, we had the great... Me, myself and Jane had the great pleasure of him at Bolton. And it, it was hilarious. It was an absolutely fantastic company. Uh, as you may know, that teenagers are exactly... Oh, any children are exactly my thing. But it was well-behaved, it was pleasant, it was polite, it was helpful. Um he kept saying, "I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not buying any more kits." And ten minutes later, they came back with an armful, bless him. Uh, and now he's doing so well with armor, and that is, he's, he's taking all advice off Craig and all the guys that do armor sort of stuff. He, he's an absolute star. Um, and he, he, even down at um, Telford, he made a name for himself, bless him. Absolutely. He's a, he's a, he's, He's an absolute credit. He's a credit to his father and his mother. Absolute yeah. credit. And he's a credit to club. Very much yeah, so. Uh, and, uh, and James who, uh, James who met Lewis at Telford as well. Uh, I'm sure that he'll comment on that. I'm not sure if you... Can you remember, back to 24-hour build, can you remember the lawnmower episode that happened? Yes. We, we <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you remember that, Lou? Yeah, me and Clem started saying it with the 24 hour lawn mowing competition. Absolutely. So, so we're down at the club, we're doing 24 hour build. Uh, and it, I think it must have been about two or three o'clock in the morning. And we, we, we weren't. Oh, we weren't, God, I, yeah. We weren't even tired. We were like, Clem's missus had brought baked bean pizza in. And lots of yeah. cake, and Jean brought treats in galore, and we, there was so much food, and we were drinking tea and coffee all night. Yeah. We, we went outside; it must have been two or three o'clock in the morning, and we went out for a cheeky fag. And we, we sort of stood, and you've got to obviously think on the the Lawson hut in Badsworth. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's 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 not even a village. It's more like a hamlet. It's so small. So yeah. there's no through traffic, and it's eerily, eerily quiet. And we stood on the grounds, and Bridgie came out, and he went, what's that noise? And we just couldn't pinpoint it. And it turned out it was one of those automatic fucking lawnmowers that's yeah, going was, yeah. down the grass. Uh, and <laughs> that, we were pissing ourselves laughing at that. All shitting themselves up, thinking it would like beast of bomb, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get stalked, right? <laughs> Moving on. I, I, first meeting in August uh, was our first meeting in Upton Village Hall. So for that, Andy, we did free butties for the people who turned up. Yeah, uh, and there were twenty-five people who uh, who benefited from that. Uh, and we also paid our insurance again for the year, which we managed to secure at the same price as what we did last year. 
And believe it or not, believe it or not, this is how quick time goes. And I hope we're still watching Graham, who comes all the way over from Cleethorpes. And I know I always yeah, say, I never say he comes from Cleethorpes. I always say he comes all the way over from Cleethorpes. Because talk about a long journey to come to your club. It's just unbelievable. I, I think it, it must be a good hour, hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, love it. Right. Yeah. It's an hour and 20, Craigie, isn't it? Yeah, yeah dead easy. Yeah. Dead easy. So that, that what first meeting in August, so June's like August, September, October, November, December. So as daft as it sounds, Graham's been with us for five months now. Already? Already, mate. Bloody oh, hell, fire. Oh, fire. 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 Uh And we also had, I, I, had a, I had Bill up to my garden uh, one Sunday, and we were having a natter, having a having a nice cold drink on patio, and and we talked about the club in general and what we do, and one thing and another, uh, and we decided between us that we would try and organise a trip for next May, which we've done. Out to three four, Lewis, are you going? Yep. Craigie, definitely. Andy, yeah, both of us. Andy and Jean, uh, and we're yep. going to Cambridge. We're, we're actually going to have a look at the Duxford Air Museum uh, next May, second Saturday in May. Uh, Bill is such a, a great character. Bill's a honorary member at club. I made him that only two years ago for everything that he does at, for, for the club, for, for me personally, for the club as a whole. Uh, and I said on, on that video, it'll be in my videos right down there. Uh, I, I said about Bill, you know, if, if I, I'm always at work and if, if Glow Clothing have printed us some T-shirts off and I need, I need somebody to go and pick them up or I need somebody to go and pay a bill, I need somebody to do this, somebody to do that, it's always Bill. Uh, so for that, we thanked him. We're making him an honorary member, which means he don't pay subs anymore and he can come and go as he pleases. Uh, Bill said, why don't we have a trip down to Duxford or, you know, somewhere where we can all engage? So before you know it, I I've ordered a minibus. Bill has paid 200 quid down on that straight away. And it's lovely, lovely when you've got somebody at your club that can do that. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, big thanks to Bill on that. Big thanks to Bill on that. Second meeting in August, we had 23 in. Uh, Dale and SGS popping in yet again. Uh, but I have written there in my comments, Andy, people dropping like flies, reference Telford. Yeah. Uh, there seemed to be a lot booked and then all of a sudden it all started going a bit quiet for some reason. Um, it's quite a few people been following on. There were all sorts going on, weren't there? So... Yeah. Yeah, we had we had Alsi bless him old had his operation. Yeah, poor Alsi, yeah. Uh, yeah, one or two. I think I think Bridgie was starting to feel a little bit under the weather. We, yeah. we had two or three that just literally dropped like flies, one bomb bomb. Yeah. But luckily there were there were enough in first meeting in September twenty three in again, which actually turned out to be our mean average for the year. Uh, and it was our pleasure to give the air cadets a check. I've written down there 1500 quid, and you know what? I'm sure that were only 13. I'm gonna see if I can find, I am now gonna I'm gonna try again and see if I can find the pictures, uh, groups. I'm gonna make that, uh, I'm gonna make that smaller. I'm gonna find that one there. I want to. I'm going to search. Where's my search button? Featured more search there. I can search. I want to type in uh, cadets and see if that brings anything up. It does. There we go. Right. It has brought a couple of pictures up. I'm hoping I can find the one. There it is. Right, so let me go back to... Uh, let me go back to that. And 
share my screen with that one i think it is and it's good mate minimize that one i'm gonna maximize that one and we should be able to see there uh we can't see that can't, no we're not seeing it let me have a look here click on share mark you daft lad so you can see it is 1300 yeah it is 1300 and you should be able to see that screen there yeah we've got it mate you've got it lovely uh, what I don't want to do is uh, I don't want to knock this in the head. So if I can, uh, how do I minimise that? I do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, Mark. I want to do them half and half like that. That's what I want to do. And drag that one over here. This is really weird. Put that up there and... I should now be able to see Mark Lid and Doug Tuck holding the check, uh, holding the check up for thirteen hundred quid for Minsthorpe Air Cadets, which Excellent. they absolutely love. Absolutely love that that we could do that. It worth it worth it for thirteen, not fifteen. Second uh, of September, I've written down rule coasters delivered, which means that we got them and started to sell them. Yeah. Well. First of October. Yeah, really appreciate that, actually, Andy. Uh, when you're walking around a market and you see something, and then all of a sudden you think, "Oh, I wonder if you can do something for club." That's, yeah. uh, that to me absolutely screams volumes about how much you think about us as a club and as a whole yeah uh first i just saw i i i just saw them i thought well we all have some sort of workstation yeah um, a coaster like that i mean we jean's got them all at bottom of it i don't know if you can see she's got a she's got them all up across at bottom of there and it's somewhat nice just to have something different yeah, mate. First meeting in October, numbers have went up, 2018. Uh, personally, I had Kits for Kids conclusion with Luke and the team. Uh, we talked about competition for next year. We paid for our tables at Bolton that we're going to in G February, January, February. Uh, and we were preparing, the admin team was preparing for the AGM. Second meeting in October, uh, down to 22. Now, so this one a good one. Uh, and again, this is for people who, who regularly watch or tune in. And once I've talked about this, I'll go through comments. So down at club to, to, to boost our income, even though we're non-profitable, right? We are non-profitable. <coughs> what we do is we play, we play a bonus ball game. Yeah. So what we have is we use the national lottery. We use the national lottery uh, bonus ball uh, that's drawn at the end of the month. And basically, what we have is we have that. We have that. That's a, a sheet. Look, and you can see it says bonus ball on it with all the numbers one to fifty nine. Uh, we, we we charge subs obviously to pay for our rent and our insurance and, and keep a little bit of money coming in. But yeah. we also play bonus ball. It's two pound a ball. Uh and what that does is eighty percent of the uh winning pot goes to the member that's bought the winning ball. And twenty percent of it comes back to club. So if there's fifty nine balls at two pound each, that's a hundred and eighteen quid. So 80% of that goes to the winner and 20%, 38 quid, that comes back into the club. Uh, and it just lets us do things like discount merch, uh, pay for coach trips, pay for this, pay for that, subsidise. We can, every now and again, we'll say, who wants a butty this week because they're free? Uh, uh, you know, and build for that over 100 quid. Because when you've got 25, 26 people in, uh, you know, and they're all sort of like getting your £2, £53 butties, that money soon adds up, but it's 
because people pay in and were non-profitable, we, I don't take a penny out of doing this. It all goes back into the club so we, so we can do that. However, once a year, we actually charge £3 a ball. But the difference is, is that the winner takes all the pot and at three pound a ball times 59 balls uh quick maths 177 pound on that mm. ticket uh and it's one of the most talked about things at the club we use the the bonus ball that's drawn on the last saturday of the month uh and uh it, it, it either swings one way or the other everybody forgets or everybody starts pinging on round about at half past eight who's won the bonus ball uh now then so that was october but in september the month prior we'd done the two pound bonus ball but all the numbers didn't sell so there were a rollover into october of i think let me get this right of of, of about 70 70 or 80 quid yeah so that rollover into October, then we charge three pound a ball in October, 177, add the 70-odd. It, it actually came to about 250 quid in the in the pot. Uh, and don't forget, winner takes all. And this year, I was very pleased uh, to say that Davey House, Dave House won the bonus ball, which was absolutely fantastic. Uh, uh, in fact, I've written it down here, Andy. It was £241, mate. Yeah, a lot of money. A lot of money. For a little club, we're well, not a little club, we're a massive club, we're the biggest. Uh, merch ideas for 2024, they were coming through. We were starting to look at those. Uh, emailing Halifax for December, which we'll talk about in a minute with Craigie. Uh, Bolton, we booked the three tables for Ange. We booked the Red Beck. This is in October. We booked today's Red Beck dinner. Yeah. Uh, and then we talked about raising some money for Padre's grandson. But before we go on to any of that, let me click on, let me have a look at these comments because they've been coming through. So, uh, da, 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 let's have a look. So we got down to Bridget, didn't we? Now then, young Lewis. So James oh. said that'll buff out. Yeah. Uh that'll buff out, right? Mr. Narfolk. Yes. Oh, Mr. Narfolk. <laughs> Mr. Narfolk. <laughs> Roast. The bed. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And then I've got all the interior separate to this. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get yeah. a spray tomorrow. What yeah. Time? Um, I've just what I've done is I've just got all uh, over our windows with a um, stuff to sort of make it sort of like um, mucky, right? So I want to deal with the idea of just drilling holes in it, right? Right, okay, like, then, mate. Yeah, found you. But uh, so uh, twenty minutes here, father, you'll be all built. Yeah, so, be done painted. Yeah. Dyer armoured and everything. Excellent, mate. Cracky. Yeah, a bit of a change for me. Yeah. Uh, change is as good as the rest. Certainly is, mate. Thank you very much. James says, Lois, you yeah. know your mate James. You you yeah. it, your BFF. <laughs> James says, uh, like Craig, uh, uh, sand start low, finish on either 2,000 or 3,000. Uh, the model student says hello from Canada, uh, and that's uh, good evening. Uh, the model student, hello from England, from everybody in England, from Sesco in West Yorkshire. James says, uh, but let it cure out for 24 hours. James, James, love. If you, anything, <laughs> if you didn't learn anything about Lewis, right, 24 hours, it can literally knock, you know, 10 kits out in 24 hours. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mark, Mike says, hey, Mark, what happened to the Lancaster Dio? Did it make the finishing line? Greetings from Liechtenstein. Uh, Mike, good evening. UK time. It's actually up there in the box. Uh, no, it, it didn't. 
uh, it sort of got put on a back burner because I got some commissions coming through. I've got other really interesting topics to build. Where am I looking up here? Uh, I've I got, I, I got a Heinkel to build. That overtook that. Then I got uh, a 1 in 32 A10. That overtook that. Then I got a Chieftain Tank. That overtook that. Uh, and now I've got a bus. So, no, it never came out, but it's still up there, mate. It's still up there. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Martin says, evening all. Looking and sounding solid there, Mark. Cheers, mate. Thank you for that. That's proper. Hey, Martin. Martin. Uh, your BFF, uh, low, James. <laughs> your BFF there says, uh, James... Uh, Lois, lovely lad, and had a great chat with him on the Sunday. Considering I met him one day before, Lois is absolutely infectious, James. We all know that. Uh, the model student, cool. We have a Lancaster here in Hamilton at our Heritage Museum. Uh, May, my birthday month. Uh, good choice, laugh out loud. And Adrian uh, says he's in Sweden. Don't forget, great to see the younger generation in the hobby. Uh, well done, Lois. <laughs> Happy days. Famous. Uh, back to Craigie then. So, let me just have a look here. Oh. So, so, so. Let me just put this down. So, October. Second meeting in October. 22 people in. And we emailed Halifax for December. Why do? Why did we do that, Craig? Is it the Halifax show we're on about? Um, the set to Diamond Dave, because I'm sure you went last oh, year. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, I do apologise. Yeah. Fine. Tell tell the people why why I had to email Diamond Dave at Halifax, mate. Uh, for our club shopping day. Bingo. Yeah. I remember. Craig. I've got too many you shows. To Craig, you came to Halifax last year, didn't you? I did, yes. Tell the viewers what Halifax Modelers World is like up in West Yorkshire. It's like an Aladdin's cave. You've like got to look in the shelves. There's stuff everywhere. I mean, I didn't buy out until I was just leaving and there was a little shelf behind him full of dust spiders. And there were a little box in there with accurate armor on. And I spied it and I was like, what's that? Then as soon as he brought it down, it was a power pack for a challenger. I was like, oh, yeah. look at that. That's what you were talking about earlier, Craig. So, oh, it was 50 quid straight away. Just from oh. dust. Tidy. Rooster and Gene, you came to Halifax uh, last year, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't spend... remember what he got. What did you get last year? Did I pick a buccaneer up with Mark wanted? Yeah, she got a buccaneer. Uh, that, uh, what wanted? No, I think it would it, Mark. Bridget. It was Bridgie that wanted it. Bless him. All right. Uh, yeah. But you ended up with that, didn't you? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> what? It's still a wardrobe, I think. Well, oh, she's still she's, she hasn't started it yet. <laughs> so she's getting used to having this stash situation where we've got. I think between us, we've got 200 kits. At least. 200 kits I between think. us. What? And there. Yeah. yeah, we have, mate. If, we, we must have. And it's just like, we, we've put us foot down. Um, because it's like paints and this, that, and other we, 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 we're going to concentrate on. But unfortunately, I've, I've made an effort this year to make sure that we've both got enough to um, enjoy ourselves <laughs> when we go to Halifax, i.e. savings. Um, and it's it's quite, it's quite a formidable amount of money, isn't it? Yes. So uh, it looks like that the idea of not buying any more kits has gone out the window because uh, there's more there than I thought there were. You don't know how much is in there, Mark, because you told me this morning. Yeah. Um, and that's a fair heft. So I'm thinking, you you once asked me about Telford, what my wish list was with, with, with Telford, um, and I, I I I couldn't think of any. And then it came to me, trucks. Uh, I drive them for a living, 
Uh, and as Craig knows, it's not like driving a truck. Uh, I've only ever really built one, which was a Kenworth, yeah. uh, which were a bit of a disaster. Uh, it's not. Well, it was, because it fell off shelf and destroyed itself. Uh, yeah, so Halifax, here we come. It'd be right, right. Get there early. Make sure I've had my breakfast. Make sure your jeans all ready to go. And then you can all stand back because me and Jean are going to empty the shop. I'll tell you what. Did, uh, did Clem ever tell you what I said to Dave at Halifax? No. Apparently, he said to him, um, so about next Saturday, you'll have a young lad come in and he'll buy you your entire back wall. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Victoria's good. I bet he does. I bet he does. I bet he does. last year, No. Have you never been? No. Oh my God! You coming this? You're into the treat, mate. Yeah, I'm coming next week. I think I'm going to miss that. Yeah, get ready. You for for the people who, again who are watching. Uh, Halifax Modelers World in Halifax, obviously, in West Yorkshire. If you've never been, uh, the chap that runs that, Diamond Dave. Is a diamond. Diamond Dave for a reason, because he is an absolute diamond. When you go into Halifax Modelers World, uh, I will do... The, the, I, I did actually do a vlog on it last year. And again, if you scroll down through my videos, uh, 12 months since, you'll have to do some scrolling. Uh, you will find that video down there. But basically, uh, Halifax Modelers World, his back wall is literally corner to corner, corner to corner, full of the best armour kits. And Lewis, you will have an absolute blast in that shot, mate. Can only imagine what my mum's thinking right now. Oh, oh we so know what your mother's thinking, yeah, mate. We oh, know. We're not imagining. So is your mum watching then, Lou, or what? Uh, I don't know. I think she'll have gone to bed by now. Oh, bless her. Bless her, cotton socks. Right, 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 right. So, uh, Andy Norfolk. I keep coming back Yo. to Andy. Uh, in fact, it's the wrong one. It's Craigie. Craigie. Yes. I'm going to make you big. Now, listen, we, we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about uh, what what Neil Padre came and told us in oh, man. October. Uh, and I know that you took a special interest in that, mate. Do you want to explain what, what's gone off? Well, I can't thank Neil enough for this year. He has been a rock for me, a massive, yeah. massive rock for what I've gone through. And he was the first person I turned to and opened up to. Uh, so for me to help him anywhere I could was second to none. I weren't even going to question it. Yeah. So what happened with Neil is his poor grandson has been given 12 months to live, if that, with a brain yeah. tumor, which yeah. is just dreadful to think about. I don't even it's want to think about myself. Is he, mate, isn't he? How old is he? I think he's six, seven, oh. same as a little lad, oh. same as Logie Bear. So it's, I can't even imagine what he's going through. I can't imagine what even the family. It's just terrible, absolutely yeah. terrible. So, for me to give anything I can to Neil, I will give him anything I can to support yeah. him. So really straight can. away, so straight away, you you raised some money at the club, didn't you? I did, yes. Uh, <laughs> we're not embarrassed about talking about money, mate. How much did you raise for Neil's grandson? I think it was just short of six hundred pound, weren't it? If I remember rightly. Brilliant. And that was just a week. It was a week thing, weren't it? It really was. And brilliant, I say, mate. I say thank you to Bill and his friends because they contributed yeah. a very yeah. big amount for us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Neil is going to use that money to take his grandson on a day trip or something, Craig? Yeah, to make memories. So yeah, also we, d we don't know what it's limited to do now, so we just thought we'd give him the money and let them choose a memory they can make that's suitable. News like that. News like that, Craig. When, when you've got, I mean, it's, it's Neil's grandson, right? It's Neil's grandson. 
I, I'm not a granddad, but uh, you know, George, my George has got a granddad. In fact, he's got two. And I know that if I had to go and say something to George's granddads, Alice's dad and my dad, that at six year old George had got a condition that was so well, it's going to be life at, at six, seven year old. Parents, grandparents, it's absolutely crushing to to have to hear that news. So for you to take hold of that for for us, for club, for yourself, for what Neil's done for you, and you raise that money, we Bill and the club and everybody involved. Uh, absolutely, hats off to you, mate, and I'm very yeah. very proud of you for doing that. Thank you. We are there, Craig. Big shout to Neil because Neil's been my rock this year. I've been in some low places where I've been very upset, and he's also ended a phone for me, phone him up, and he'll chat to me day and night. So, Absolute star, is that bloke? Absolute star. I've just got to return a favour anywhere I can. He's a good lad. First meeting in November, we had 26 in. Uh, now, so, obviously, because we're a club, you know, we've got a duty of care to its people, we've got a duty of care to the admin, we've got responsibilities as well as sitting at a table uh, literally every meeting and taking notes and doing a register. Uh, we also have uh, everybody's ice in there. <laughs> ice, what's ice? Ice, emergency contact, emergency contact. Obviously, because because of the duty of care that we've got. So when you when you part a club and you come down, uh, what like I said, once you've done your first two meetings, nobody ever wants to leave. Uh, but once you've hit your third meeting, that's when I start and say, get your money out because I want some cash off you. But in return for that, you are literally, uh, you, you, you're literally embraced by this massive pair of arms from myself and every single club member. Uh, and, and at the AGM, we talk about uh, where what we've done this year and also what our plans are for next year. And we talk about as 24-hour build. Uh, and just mo just keeping on that uh, track with Neil's grandson, we've chosen uh, that uh, we're, we're, I think we're going to do the Make-A-Wish Foundation in 2024. It's something similar, Craig, along those lines. Yeah. We talk about how much money we've got coming in, how much money we've spent, where we've spent it, what merchandise we're doing, what competitions we're doing, what trips we're doing. What extended days we're doing? We basically cover absolutely everything that we possibly can, so that all the members down at club, because we are so transparent, uh, absolutely feel like a part of a, a great team. It's pointless, I think. It, 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 the club is is kind of running two ways. On on one side, we've got a business to run, and I know that sounds really, really bad, but the business side of the club. When you've got 25, 30, 35 people putting four quid a time in, you've got to have somebody that's accountable for that money. Uh, that's why we've got a dual signature bank account. You've got to have people who's got everybody's best interests at heart. We've got three, we've got three uh, core values down at club. Uh, and, and put that in from day one. Uh, core value number one is uh, it's got to be good for absolutely everybody. Uh, so we 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 never sort of penalise you if you come down and you 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 do like what Connor does, which is uh, he does the little diecast cars. You are welcome. You are welcome. And if you want to do sci-fi, bus figures, Lego, even you know, uh, Le Leanne. Could down with with Mr. Bridge, and she makes cards. Uh, she 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 makes nice little uh, birthday cards and greetings cards. Look, it do it don't matter. We we welcome you down at club, and it don't matter what you do. We don't really care. You are welcome down there. Uh, as long as you're paying your four quid to help with rent and and what have you. So that's what we talk about at the AGM. Uh, and then we were looking for some stands for our shows at Bolton. 
which I've actually currently got, you can't see, but behind my TV screen there, behind that TV, I've actually got a flat pack stand that I am going to build up over Christmas and have a look at how that is. Uh, and we also said goodbye to Mr. Bridge on the admin because he's uh, got a cough come cold. Uh, and, but in, in return for that, we welcome Mr. Patton on board. Uh, which we're very, very grateful for. On then, then now we can talk. Then on the next weekend in November, Andy, Gene, Craigie, Lewis, we went to the greatest show on earth, didn't we? In uh, a little place called Telford. Yes. Oh, yes, we did, mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got to be careful what I say here because. Our experience of the uh, the Great Telford wasn't the best, um, no, but that that's 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 by the by. But right, actually, let's go, Andy. On on every single coin, there's two sides, right? Yeah. And let me just have a look. There's 21 people watching, right? My yeah. Telford experience this year were different from yours. Yes. Lewis, first time, so as well. My, mine won my fourth time. Lewis's first time. Craig, you, yeah. did, you came down, Craig, because you were obviously in the hotel. Craig, let's start with you, your Telford experience. Mine, I've, the show were fantastic, don't get me wrong. The traders, I don't think there's a bargain anymore there. I think the bargain's gone. They put the prices up for the show. Because you, you go online, while you're in there, you go online, look at a kit, and you can get it 10, 15 pounds cheaper online. Granted, it's not in your hand, but you can get it cheaper. So I think <laughs> the internet's killed the shows. Do you I know, do, do any of you guys know, and I do how much a trader has to pay to trade at Telford? Couple yeah, of grand. Like... few grand, isn't it? Two grand, I think it is. Lois, you've got no idea, mate, have you? Ru, have you? Do you know? No, but we. Arm and a leg. I'm getting arm and a leg from behind, but I I won't be surprised if it was about two two and a half grand. You're not far off, lads. It's seventeen hundred quid. Yeah. And they've got to make that yeah. money. Yeah. They've got they've to, got to yeah. make that Plus travel costs and hotels. So you know you're looking three grand, aren't you, to, to go? Well, yeah, you're looking at three grand, Craig, before you've opened the door. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. you've got to understand them. Um, Wasn't it 1,700 a day? No, for the weekend. A weekend. All right. So that's it with it there. However, however, so you've talked about, and, and, and I fully agree, Craig, I was looking for three or four specific kits and I couldn't get, well, I did actually drop on, I dropped on one, I dropped on, I dropped on one specific kit. But as far as the uh, as far as the standard of the models on display, the size of the venue, the park in the hotel, are we thumbs up or thumbs down? What we like? Because people, there's people watching this that are going, "Oh, I'm interested in this segment. I've never been. I want to go. What's it like?" I'm kicking well, myself. I should have put some models in to competition, and Paul I, had a serious chat with me about that. Yeah. Over the, uh, I'm not doing myself justice by entering. So, I know, thank so. you. Are you going for it in 2024? Yeah. Go for it. I'm putting some models in, yeah. Cool beans. Lewis. Yep. Telford, 2024. So you're a, yes, you 16 by then, mm -hmm. or you were 16, weren't you? I'll be 17 by then. 17 by then. So uh, the club has said... To your mum, we want to kidnap your boy for weekend, take him out with the misters, and uh, what was your take on Telford, young man? They were absolutely brilliant. <laughs> An eye opener. <laughs> it was absolutely brilliant, Mark. Go on, carry on. I got tons of kids. Tons um, of kids. Even, evening were great. Evening meal with uh, Martin, Tyler and Craig. Yeah. Uh, pint with uh, guys at the bar. Yeah. Pint of Coke. 
Shh, part of coke. Oh. <laughs> and you also had you also had your BFF down there as well, James, didn't you? With wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. Around. It was nice to uh, talk to Dale a bit more as well. Our Dale at work, yeah, sound job. Uh, lovely bloke is Dale. Yeah, he is absolutely brilliant, isn't he, Mark? Absolutely bang on. So obviously, you know, we're all queuing up in that little queue, and then oh, the God. Side, we, we went in and. For, for if you've never been, it can be a bit of a w overwhelming emotional experience. Did you feel that at all, Lewis? Um, I don't know if it were an overwhelming emotional experience, but it were. Um, I was excited. All that money burning a hole in your pocket. Let me tell you, and I did mention this on last live stream. Let me tell you a little tale about Lewis. Oh God. So, <laughs> I know exactly what he's going to say. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to say as well. I know exactly what I'm going to say. So come to Sunday. We're on Sunday, uh, and we've absolutely had an absolute belly full. With it's like Lewis says, we my team we went out for a curry. Lewis went out with Greggy and Martin. We had a cheeky cheeky coke in the bar. It's it's nice to when when you don't get out much. It's nice to be able to go and spend some time in a hotel with friends and and with people. Yeah. And on the Sunday, we're, we're literally saying, right. So are we done? Are we all done? We're all done. Right. Let's make a move. And Lewis has got some money burning a massive hole in his pocket. Now I've been out right on that Sunday, and not only did I talk to the people at Airfix, but I'll talk to that about that in a minute. I also picked up one of these. I don't know if you can see that. And put me a comment on if you've seen it. Uh, if you haven't yeah. seen it, you can ask the question what it is. Uh, I, I did subsequently show that to, to Rue at the last meeting, who showed me uh, his exact same one, thank you very much, that he bought from Wish for about three quid. Yeah. Uh, and I paid £20 for mine. Uh, at Telford, that just goes to show the the difference in in prices, and and I'm showing it to young Lewis, and he says I want one. I'm going to have one of them, and disappears up into the blue yonder, and and everybody was Lewis gone. He's always oh, gone for what he's gone for one of these tools. He's gone for one. Uh, he's really really liking it. Ten minutes later, comes back. And what have you got in your hand, Lewis? Rackfield uh, Tiger One. I feel like <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, You're an absolute I, star, Lou. Yeah, mate, absolute said, star. That's not a cutting tool. And you went, what did you say to me, Lou? I fell over. My wallet fell out of my pocket. It opened, and the money fell into the guy's hand, and the tiger fell in my hands. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what, what do you want? What do you want? I have got that. Uh, I've got it done now, Mark. I bet you have. Well, a surprise. Oh. I bet you have. Uh, there were 24 Sesco boys and girls went down to Telford. We stayed over for the night. Uh, young Lewis, I've got written there as well. Uh, first real time away from home, away from mum and dad, obviously. And people looked after him, and he did. He did the. He did the club proud. He did yeah. himself proud. Uh, but one of a better word, I'm trying to be politically correct here. He wasn't a knobhead. He was a, a very uh, well presented, well mannered, articulate, punctual young man who we love. Uh, let me just have a look at the comments here. Glasses back off. Glasses off. Right. So, AD says, uh, great to see the younger generation in the hobby. Well done, Lou. We've covered that one. Paul Radcliffe from the Wirral has joined us. Good evening, Paul. Hey, old brothers. Paul. Uh, and he also says it's looking like a good setup now. We've got no echo, no feedback. I'm sharing screen. We're doing absolutely everything. We love it. Uh, AD Price, no, now nah, then, let me just put this one on. Ro, Roaster, just look up and read that. I'm so impressed with your club. The sense of community on, uh, and compassion shown by your members warms my heart. 
I wish I lived in your area so I could join. What a fantastic hobby this is. Absolutely. Thank you, Adrian. Brilliant. That's absolutely yeah. superb, that, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it, it some says you up that, isn't it? I mean, we we, we all, we, it's like a grassroots. We all do the same thing and yeah. we all do it differently. And it, it's great to have somebody to turn to and say, how do I do this? And how do I do that? And how do I do this? And it's brilliant. I really love it. Thanks for that, mate. That was cool. Excellent. Well done. Uh, and Rob says, Telford overpriced now. Traders choose to go. Uh, they know how much uh, they're getting into. Absolutely, Rob. I mean, I suppose from, you know, you've got your Hannans, your Airfix, your Revel and all those kinds of people. Uh, the internet, absolutely right. Somebody mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. The internet has literally killed, killed traders. Uh, but what we've got to remember is that, you know, I, I took Dale with me this year. Uh, and it was Dale's first time. Uh, and, and, and me and Dale loved it. But as daft as it sounds, 90% of our time was not looking at what the people were had on display. It was actually just looking around the traders because I took an absolute boatload of cash and so did Dale. And we were like young Lewis, you know, we've got money burning the right hole in our pocket and we know what we want. But it, it was it were great that we've got such a great friendship anyway, in and out of work. And I'm looking for stuff and Dale saying, oh, Mark, there's one here and vice versa and one thing or another. So for us, it was absolutely, it was great. It was great. Uh, so, but Telford overpriced. Uh, yeah, it can be overpriced. I, I would say this if you want to go to Telford next year and you say, I'm going for a bargain, well, you're not. You're not. Let's absolutely cut to the chase. We've just said how much traders have to pay. Uh, you're not going for a bargain. I went to one particular stand. This will make you laugh. I went to one particular stand, right? Uh, and, and I wanted this, which is a one in 72 red arrow. Uh, because uh, Neil's, uh, Neil's asked me to build one, uh, and I'm going to get on with it. Uh, I have actually built the one in 72 red arrow for him, and I'm looking because I can't find it. But uh, rule one lid on, uh, and I'd actually got the dental sheet here on my bench, I was doing something else. Uh, and I happened to catch my bottle of AK Extreme Thinner and Cleaner, went straight over at Dettles, and the Dettles melted away before my eyes. Uh, so I had to buy a new red arrow, which I didn't mind. But the funny story is, this is Sunday at about 3 p.m., and Dale says to me, Mark, I've got one, I've got one, passes me the box, uh, and on one side, the ticket there says £7. And I looked at the bloke, and I went like that, mm you know, to gesture, uh, and he looked at me and went, yes, mate, and I went, seven pounds, will you take five? And he just looked at me, absolutely deadpan, and went, no. <laughs> just like there were no, there were absolutely no room for any any bargaining whatsoever. Will you take five, mate? No. Uh, so, oh, right, but because I absolutely needed it, I ended up paying him the seven pound. Now, the funniest thing even that makes it even funnier when I got it home, there's actually a ticket on that side, and it says six pound. Mm. Says it all, really, that mate, doesn't it? Says it all. Uh, so yeah, Rob uh, saying that Telford's overpriced. If you're going for a bargain, no, you're not going for a bargain. You're going for the experience. Uh, Paul Radcliffe says, "Oh, uh, get on, Mark Spielberg with the fancy camera switching." Cheers, mate. Salute you, love you, man. Uh, Eric says, was my first time and thoroughly enjoyed it, but I agree there wasn't much in the way of bargains. There wasn't. Uh, Golf Street Painting has come back on and says, hello, good evening, sir. Uh, Carl says, made the trip from Portsmouth to Telford and lucky enough to queue, uh, lucky enough to queue to get in with Mark a few behind. Met him uh, with the comment, I recognise that from YouTube, absolutely. And do you know what? I sit here smiling because last year was absolutely fantastic and this year was even better. 
but it's funny because because of the accent that I've got, because of how I talk, I don't edit anything. That I have not got a filter. Uh, six foot four, twenty something stone, and what 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 comes in here just literally comes out of here. Uh, that that's what I'm. Looks like you. Uh, so yeah, so people do say uh, I recognise the voice more than the face. Uh, thanks for that. Anfield says, uh, "Good stream, big thumbs up. See you in the next one. Good night, all. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it." Good night, mate. Uh, Paul Radders, come on, Paul. What you put? Paul says, "My tuppence for tell. This is me eyes struggling here. My tuppence for Telford would be that I would only be for shopping." And even then, from what I can tell you guys, it was expensive. So that's uh, so it's like, why bother? Just an expensive day out. And again, it, you, you can't go on shopping. You absolutely can't. If you go with 500 quid and you say, I, I'm on my phone at the same time, if you could buy 10 kits at Telford with that 500 quid, you could probably buy 13 or 14 kits exactly the same off eBay into your basket for the same money. Definitely. Uh, yeah. And Martin says, it, what my, it was my first time at Telford. I did I did feel I got a couple of bargains. The new Airfix ME, uh, I think that were at 19 quid, uh, was part of a deal for subbing to the magazine. Uh, and I got a good deal at Jadlam for a, uh, for a vinyl figure. I do like Jadlam. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jean likes Jadlam a lot. She's bought a lot from them. Yeah, we don't we don't mind a bit of Jaddy. Uh, second meeting in November. That was our bumper one, and that was club competition. And we had thirty nine members in for that. And I've written down busiest day of the year: club comp uh, winner Craig S. Uh, savings club uh, bumper uh, bumper amounts. Uh, PC PC live stream uh, and again we've been going now for an hour and 51 minutes uh, right at the beginning of this live stream I've got the guys uh, in the wings uh, while well, I just had a little natter with you a lot for, for the first 5-10 minutes uh, I am on a PC now for the ones who I've tuned in now who used to tune in in the past I know I'm covering all ground uh, there's no echo. Everybody is clear as a bell. I'm running at 108 gig uh, a second off uh, Ethernet cable straight into my router. And everything is great. Uh, and then December the 1st, that's our last meeting. And that's today. 18 people in, 18 boys and girls. Last meeting, Redbeck, wrap up the year. We're meeting back on the 6th of Jan. Uh, and my next job... <clears throat> my next job, for those who are aware, uh, myself and Luke and Stuart and the guys down at Black Rifle, we've done uh, a charity run this year. Uh, I came up with a little bit of a project that I wanted to run. I came up with that last November. We've seen it through the year. We got in touch with Airfix, and I will just nip over here. We got in touch with Airfix. Yeah. And we said, if we can raise a certain amount of money, will you give us some kits that we can send to the kiddies' hospitals over Christmas for the kids who are unfortunate enough to be uh, in hospital over Christmas? Uh, we've managed to raise uh, a little bit over five grand. Uh, and from that, they sent us some kits in. I'm keeping talking while I just uh, nip over here and get, what, uh, get, get a few bits out of some boxes. So we raised 5,000, just over 5,000 pounds. Uh, and uh, we, uh, I spoke to a chap, uh, I spoke to a chap called Dale, uh, who is part of Airfix down at Telford. Uh, and uh, I said, uh, thanks for the kits you've sent us. We wanted 500. They actually sent us 760 kits uh, to give away. For the kids. Uh, so next week, next, right? No, a week, a week on Monday, a week on Monday, I'm in Wakefield Hospital, uh, Pinderfields Hospital. 
And then the following Monday, I'm with Paul Patton in Barnsley Hospital. And what, what Airfix sent me, uh, Luke, Fred Foot, Cr uh, Clive, and Mark and Ange, uh, what, 760 of these quick build kits for five grand, 5,020 pounds. Uh, so they are quick build kits. It, it's sort of like an airfix meets Lego type of thing. Uh, there's no glue or paint required. Uh, they sent me some of these. Look, okay. Yeah, you'd like that. Beetle. Green um, beetle. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, another one, another yellow beetle as well. Me, Andrew, Mark. The Monday after Telford, we took, I think it were 80 to Sheffield Children's Hospital. That's right, mate. Uh, and, and also uh, a camper van. They've also sent a Bugatti, a load of Bugatti Verons, some McLarens, uh, some Lamborghini, uh, some Ford Raptor vans. Uh, and like Craig says, Craig and Jim Mark, they've already done their donations. Uh, I think uh, the lads at Black Rifle are going to do theirs uh, this coming week, or they've already done them. Uh, I've got mine out over the next two weeks because my garage is absolutely full of, of kits to send to these kids. Uh, and that will wrap up Kits for Kids project. We've been going for... I don't know why I keep putting my glasses on. Uh, we've been going for an hour and 56 minutes. Uh, club... Club guys, 2023. Let me. Uh, I don't need to be big anymore. Club for 2023 is finished. We meet again in uh, on Saturday, the 6th of January, 2024. Have you enjoyed the year? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Happy days. What's on your What's on your Christmas list? If you if you're still watching, there's 19 boys and girls watching. Tell me what's on your Christmas shopping list. What's the couple of kits that you're going to be after asking Santa for this year? Lou, have you got a couple of kits in mind? <laughs> Look at face. <laughs> I don't... Uh... Have you? Come on, then. What are <laughs> they? The um, DAS work, 1 to 16, Panzer 3. Right. The DAS work 1 to 35 scale uh, Tiger 2. Right. The TACOM 1 to 35 <laughs> Panther A mid. Right. TACOM 1 to 35 Panther A late yeah. production. Um, <laughs> I think that's it for now. Um, all right, all. <laughs> did only did anybody else hear division. Victoria fainting then? I'll tell you what, <laughs> listen. Listen, Victoria's put a comment on. Victoria's put a comment on. Craigie. I can't see it. He says, proud parents hearing about Lou definitely on Santa's nice list. <laughs> well, Lewis is going to be red. If I were you, mate, if I were you, I'd go back and revisit that list and add about another three or four to it. <laughs> Who says I'm not going to do? <laughs> oh, yeah. ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> that lad, Andy, that lad has changed so much in the last 12 months because 12 months since he wouldn't have said that. Now he's no, he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't have said go to a ghost blessing, no. but I think it's everybody at club. He it, 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 it talks to people, he's sensible, uh, and it, it's brought him out. And look at him now. I mean, we take the mickey about how he quickly builds things and this, that, other, but he's doing it and he does what he wants to do. And if he can't do it, he asks. Yeah. You know, Man, he epitomises the club thing, you know. It's with the guys that, that, that do armour and this, that, other, and how do do this. Now, he had a problem with the, the, the shafts, the torsion bars. Yeah, on the got that we're building. Um, so, Craig, Craig and Clem helped me with that. There you go, mate. So That's that what that clubs are for. Brilliant. Cheers, Craig. So, yeah. Craig. All in the day's work. I've uh, got cool. a good idea with this now. Good lad. What? Ah. 
I'm going to have the uh, anti-aircraft gun just sat in the back as if it's been disassembled. Right. Okay. Then, mate. Uh, I'm going to have the screen with some like bullet holes in. Yeah. It's going to go on like a sandy base. Yeah. Just need a and, uh, I'm going to see if I can get some figures for it that have been like shot or something. Like in somewhat the, for it. Uh, somewhat for it. Figures. Oh, figures. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to get some, mate. No worries. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's come out, to be honest. It was a 20 quid men kit. Good Dying. for you, pal. Good for you. Can't knock it. The photo etch on it's good. Yeah. Cool beans. Uh, Adrian says, superb with job with the kits for kids project, Mark. Cheers, mate. It was just a, a very sort of flash idea. Uh, that turned out to uh, to be absolutely fantastic, and I couldn't have done it without the help of the other lads. Uh, Paul Radcliffe says the Phalanx kit would be nice, and I've talked to Paul about that, so I'm not sure if you're aware. Uh, Craig, you'll know what a C Ram is, won't you? No. <laughs> it's the big. It's the big drum that they have on, uh, like a, a frigate or a ship, or on on the. It's like a coastal defence. Yeah, that yeah. that just goes yes i know what you mean now yes yeah so i call it a c ram uh paul calls it a phalanx i did actually see it down at telford uh and i said to the bloke how much is that mate because uh, i took a picture and sent it to paul on messenger paul had said to me oh it's uh it's looking about 60 or 70 quid uh, and the bloke went oh it's only 129 i said no i forget that <laughs> Uh, Victoria says, Lois, you can read that out for yourself. You won't just died. <laughs> it means I can get a credit card. <laughs> Some boy. Get a credit card. <laughs> Rob says, the large sea view kit. Now I'm looking blank. What, what are we looking at here? Sea view kit is that the manufacturer? Never no, no, mate. You know, I like, I like Airfix to release more Sea Kings, the Falklands version. You're not the only one that says that, Mucker. I really want the Falklands version. Uh, yes, I think once the Falklands version comes out, I'll even be looking at that myself. Eric says, mm -hmm. R RFM 1 in 34. Yeah. Well, that's up your street. What's it? Oh. Imagine. <laughs> what is? Yeah. Read it. Ah, I've seen one of them uh, on that black rifle. Some guy from building one. It's looked brilliant. Static okay. applicator. I've got one of them. They are fantastic. Yeah. And a static grass applicator. Do you know what? Got we one. got one. We all watch those little feed videos that come on our Facebook, don't we? They're fantastic bits of kit. Absolutely, and those little static grass applicators. That why am I doing that? What's that? Just don't put your finger in end of them when they turn on. Santa shell like he's just up the road from me. Yes, I bet he is. I bet he is an all mate. Paul Rad says, looking good, Lou. Cheers. Cheers. Hobby time. <laughs> Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Please expand on that because I've got no idea what that is. Is that one of them submarines that disappeared? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Craig. <laughs> Craig, you can actually buy that kit. I saw it itself and I was like... No way. <laughs> yeah, what do they call it? What, what do they call that sub? Well, they would avoid you, ain't it? You can buy it as a kit. I'm not kidding. <laughs> really? Yeah, mate. Seriously. Um, What's that? that you know, you know the sub Andy. That uh, I mean, it's such a tragic, tragic story. That's oh, so then yeah. Loaded with those guys and that kid on board. Yeah, that's bad. Right. You anyone can buy we, it as a kit. Anyone we announce a sense won't do that, would they? Definitely not. I think it's uh, well. I'm, I'm not going to say. Yeah. Uh, Obby Time says Sea View. Let's. Are we going to Google that because we've still got no idea? 
No. Uh, see, and Carl, Tammy is 88, so I can have a go again at the first kit I built. Do you know what? That's a great idea. That's that kit I uh, got for Dale, isn't it, Mark? Is it? What, the goal? Yeah, um, Tammy are 88. Cheers for that, mate. Really appreciate that. So, uh, thanks for asking me what's on my Christmas list. What do you what's want? Mark, what's on your Christmas list? <laughs> Goodwill and good cheer to all men. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Everybody <laughs> like we said. Let me do that again. Good cheer. Good cheer and goodwill to all men. Yeah, yeah, that right, mate, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm lucky enough. I don't think you can actually see. Uh, I've already bought my Christmas present to myself from my missus. Uh, <laughs> bought a Russian M, uh, M1 book 9K37 air defense missile system. Uh, we, we all know about the conflict in the Ukraine. We all know about what's happening. Is it tasteless to buy to, to build Russian stuff? Well, no. no. Is it tasteless to to build Luftwaffe stuff from World War Two? No, it's it's history. That's what I mark. That's what I say to people when I do all these World War Two German tanks. Yeah, it's mate. like when Craig does all his British Army stuff. Yeah, what's trying to change it? It's happening. We learn it's just an interest, fun. isn't it? It's an interest. We, at the end of the day, we're not politicians, we're not generals, we are model builders. That's what we are. But we do a better job. But we all the do. builders are the sexiest part. <laughs> yes, that, <man. laughs> he really said. Yeah. Lewis says we do a better job. <laughs> AD says, I'm hoping for the new Jet Mag 1 in 32 resin uh, dragon from Santa. I've seen what's that one in 32? Is it not a Vigan, is it? Which one is it? That's I can't remember. One in there's a big one in 32 resin kit with a massive delta wing on it, and the canards that looks absolutely sick as anything. Uh, Paul says, uh, going to say bye for now. I'll probably catch up soon. So I'm going to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. That's the first one to everybody at club and everybody at, uh, else watching. Thumbs up. Have a good one, everybody. Cheers, Paul. I will be in touch. Cheers, Paul. Well. Uh, and same to you, buddy. Uh, Hobby Time uh, was a TV series back in the day and they had a yellow flying sub to Andy, can you shed any light on that being oldest giffer in town? You know, cheeky. No, I can't. Um, I can't place it to be honest. I, re I remember a, I remember a model series. A guy that used to do it with. He had a beard and a tash, and he was very sort of. And he used to do a lot of railway stuff and garden railways. But yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but hobby time. No, I can't. I can't place that. Okay. Uh, Aidy up in Sweden says the Vigan Mark. Uh, I will take your word on that. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Hobby Time again. Is that a plane? <laughs> As reiterated, one in thirty. It's the Swedish um, Air Force jet. I, I have I have built uh, I have built a little one in forty eight. It weren't a Vigan. What was it? Uh, With the grip. Yeah, it might have been a Gripen, and 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 at one in forty eight, it's such a small, a small jet, but that one in thirty two Saab Vigan is absolutely gorgeous, 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 uh, and I would yeah, I I don't buy kits. Andy, you've just said you've got two hundred kits in your stash. I, I've got. One, two, three, four, five. I've got seven, which is the most I've ever had. Yeah. Uh, because I, I, I I've got I've got to buy to absolutely love it and want to build it. Uh, yeah. But definitely would say that that one in thirty two, uh, Saab Vigan, uh, it, it's one I'd give uh, one of my left plums for. I've got one of your left plums. Just one. Just one. I've got a Eurofighter Typhoon. 
Uh, I've got a fork truck, a missile system, the big bike, an A10, uh, and a tram A6. That's that's what's on the, that's what's on my build to do after I finish the bus. Uh, and that, let's have a look here. Uh, James has put a comment on uh, model world. I think that series, and I'm not entirely sure. Two hours and nine yeah, minutes. Sounds like yeah. Uh, building my computer. Mr. Narfuck. Yo. Don't know if I can get that as good on camera. Come on, mate. I presume that's bench seat. Back seats for the uh, pickup. And I'm just painting front ones now. Excellent. AK Leather Brown. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful <laughs> colour. <laughs> Madam's just finished finished building the kit. Have you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, 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 right, so she hasn't finished building it. She's finished doing all sub assemblies. Oh, it's all ready. Yeah, oh, same here. I've got a paint them out yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. I've got a roof. I'm still waiting for Sam to come in for one of my competition <laughs> bits. <laughs> you don't want to say what I'm saying at the moment. <laughs> Probably not. Can you say that, guys? What, what we is got? It? It's Cupid to go with me, Sherman. It's Cupid's shirt. <laughs> Cupid's Sherman. Really? She's ten two, mate. She's ten two. So, so that's what we're getting. Cherub's bottoms. They're all getting missiles and tanks, and I'm getting a cheddar bottom. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to share. I'm going to share my screen again, right? So uh, I talked earlier about Graham uh, from Cleethorpes. You see, I've said it again, Anton. Why can't I just say Graham? Uh, and this is, your guy said that you'd not seen this. Is that correct? Yeah, I don't know if I have. So this is Graham's first airbrush uh, build, uh, and I'm not. Lovely. Can you see that? Stop. Yeah. Oh. That's a proper job, that mate. You can see the colours on the turret and that part. Yeah. Oh, it's gone down as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's done a cracking job with that. Yeah. You can, you can you can tell. Yeah, you can definitely tell that I'm airbrushed. He's, he's done a cracking job with that. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, looks like Greg has been buying some AK paints. Uh, I'll tell you what I am doing this weekend, which photos should be on yeah. the roof. Uh, I'm delivering the folding recovery truck to one one recovery oh, yeah. the suspicion build. That's going down. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we're asking. Well, Have you seen that little uh, small spot? Have I seen what? That little small spot there. You've got it perfect. Small spot, what there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, we're, we're going to have to say good night because Madam's tired and I'm not far right, off behind her. Okay. It's been brilliant and it's nice all to right, know well. it's all working again. So, jobs are good. Yeah. Superb. Cheers, Andy. Cheers, Jeannie. We'll see you next weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah next yeah, weekend. Next week. I'll, I promise oh, you, I'll get, I'll get a Santa's list. Magic. All right, then, guys. All right, guys. See you later, boys. Cheers. See you, everybody. Cheers now. Bye. Bye bye. Uh, picture that I pull up on screen there is just us from Redbeck today. Uh, just having a little bit of a, a bit of a dinner, a little bit of a meal. Let me see if I can. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, Craigie, you can see this. Yes. So we're going to. Next year, we're gonna we're actually having. Go on, I'll let you do it. What we're we having? A presentation evening. 
Absolutely. Christmas deal meal presentation kind of thing. Uh, yeah, Graham, uh, I can see that you're still on. Graham, you are invited to that as well. So because we've got 39 members on the books this year and we're having a really big competition next year, uh, what we've said is uh, we're actually going to have a dinner uh, and a presentation evening at the Burntwood Court Hotel on Friday, the 22nd of November. Uh, you can stay over. I'm, uh, I'm flicking at that. Uh, let me just have a look here. So, uh, meal and presentation in that particular function room, and we have got the availability to stay over as well. Uh, a couple of close-ups uh, at dinner. That's the dinner that I went to last week with Bill, uh, and that's just showing the presentation room. And we're going to do that next year, mate. So, judge it up a little bit. Gene's been spending... Craigie with uh, the competition winner piece. Uh, this one actually, uh, this one great today. So uh, <laughs> one of the kits that Airfix had sent me, the box, the box on the back was uh, ripped and damaged. And I obviously didn't want to give that to one of the kids in hospital. So I asked our two regular attendees, uh, Logie Bear and uh, Lena, uh, Dougie's little daughter and Craigie's young lad, Logie Bear, to build that kit. And you can see Craigie there giving them a hand. Uh, and that's how that turned out. So excited to give those to the kids at Christmas. Happy days. Mr. Chris looking for some advice. A little bit of a video. SGS selling his stuff, which is always cool. Uh, Kev building a bike engine. Uh, I think that's Ru, uh, Andy, that's just been on the live stream. He's doing an F1 car and a bit of a steady progress there. Uh, not quite sure what it is, but uh, who's that? Oh, Clive from Dan South, one of my kits for kids ambassadors. I'm uh, come on to for the Apache build. Five. What is the video? Yeah, mate. One of my inspirations. Kev doing some 3D stuff. Martin Raddle couldn't get to club today, uh, doing a little bit of building. Craig is Apache. Uh, SGS selling us the gamuts. Uh, let's just have a look at these, Craig. So, what have we got here, Craig? That is a commission build for 118 recovery. Company. Uh, ASM who's turning 50 this yeah. year, so I've yeah, been mate. asked to build one and present it to him on next Sunday. Tidy, mate. So, Let's just fall so, through these. Yes, yeah, so put it uh, into that AD case. Price. Go on, put it into that case and attaching it to its proper base. I dropped it, yeah, but luckily it landed perfectly and didn't damage it. Cool. Oh, uh, AD, I've seen your comment, mate. Uh, just drop me a DM for that. A DM, a PM, whatever you call it. Direct message or a private message. Just send me a PM for that, mate. Uh, and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Flicking back through these to main page. There we go. Uh, Andy buying more cars. Kev doing some 3D printing. I'm doing my bus. And tools, 3D printing. Kev with his helmet. That sounds wrong. Andy Norfolk <laughs> says, I'm not 100% happy with this. Not sure why. Man. Doesn't look out to be all up with that. Yo. We have mentioned uh, the five pound bargain I got. You fill your boots, mate. So, uh, Clement Club, uh, he had this uh, tack on full interior Tiger 2. They were fairly yeah. old, kit, I think. So, uh, I said to him, I'd buy that off your fair money. So, he yeah. said to me, how much, you got, how much you got on you? And I said, I've only got a five. He says, Gears that then. So, I gave him five and he gave me a bloody full interior kit, box about. <laughs> 
that big. God knows how big. And then uh, I'm just looking through it for the next bloody 20 minutes. Yeah, man. Lovely stuff. Yeah, that's what we're like, isn't it? Uh, James Carl says, what's what we got here? Carl says, uh, with Bob Sims, James, not sure. Uh, a, the stunningly beautiful aircraft of Vigan. I've built seven special hobby one in 48 so far. Uh, wow, yeah, I'd like to see those actually. Uh, hobby time, the one in 32 Vigan resin kit was a limited edition. Yeah, I know, mate. Uh, and again, I'd literally give give me left arm for one of those. Hey, do we allow non members to join the Facebook page? Send me a DM, love. Uh, Gray, thank you all. Aidy, good, uh, great stream tonight, lads and lasses. Most enjoyable. I'll message you tomorrow, Mark Knight. All yeah, no drama, cocker. Thank you very much for that. I'll see to that for you. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up then, Craig and Lou. It's been great having you on. Have you enjoyed it this evening? Yeah, yeah I loved it, man. Working. Uh, loved I'm just it, man. Glad that, yeah, just glad that everything's working. Uh, uh, my my shout out tonight has got to be to Dave for supplying me. I have bought it, but it's a very reasonable discounted Dave Ouscroft price. Uh, the monitor, the 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 standalone PC that is allowing me to do this. Uh, I've even got uh, I've even got scope that I can actually change my camera. Uh, that's. Uh, uh, so I've changed my camera there. I've got one up there and one down there. Uh, and hopefully I'm going to put one up here so that I can do some down shots as well. Look at that. Very professional. Very professional. I can share the streams. I can share Facebook. I can share absolutely everything these days. Lads, thank you for your company. Two hours and 20 minutes. We're going to wrap it thank up. Thank you for the invite, man. 23 people, I think, we had in the end. As what, young low? Thank you for the invite. I've enjoyed it. You're all right, mate. Your phone came nice and clear in the end. That's lovely. Craig finally managed to get your pictures on with yep. competition winner and the trophy. Thanks very much. You are welcome, Cochrane. Well done. I think what I, I'm, I'm constantly thinking, you know, about club and competition, one yeah, thing yeah. another. I think one of the ideas that I've got for next year is that the winner of the Shield from this year, yourself, uh, yeah. would do the presentation for the shield to the winner next year. Yeah. That's... So it's almost like a hand in the baton over type yeah. of thing. And what would that win it again? Well, you're buggered then, aren't you? <laughs> I'm starting it to myself. Bobby <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ty, good night all. And Eric uh, says, until the next time, thank you ever so much for everybody that has been watching uh, and participating. Thank you for the comments. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please keep viewing. It gets my numbers up, and we all know what that means. Uh, if you've not already shared the page, please share the page. Please, please share the page. Uh, if you like what you see and you want other people to say, I've watched this guy on YouTube. Uh, he's, he's grey, he's this, he's that, he's other, whatever. Uh, please share along my page. It's muchly, muchly appreciated. We always like to talk about club. We always like to talk about uh, a, a specific theme, uh, whether it's trips, days out, competitions, what we're doing, merchandise, etc., etc. what I'm doing, all that kind of thing. We do like to share it with the modelling community. Uh, I am absolutely freezing my nads off. I don't know what time it is. Let me just have a look. It's only 20 past 10. But it's time for me to go and have a cup of tea, boys. I need to turn it up. I'm a bit warm. <laughs> Electric right. bills got roof, but I'm warm. Cheers for that. What I need to do next is learn how to do an intro and an outro. Yeah. That's what that's my New Year's resolution. Okay. Right then, lads, I will catch you up in the week. I've no doubt. Uh, and if not, I will see you at Halifax next Saturday. Oh, yeah, you shall sure will. I'm not going to Halifax because I'm going down there on Sunday. I'll so. catch you up in the week, Craigie.
Yeah, yeah, because I need your advice anyway on some bits. Sound job, no worries, mate. All right. Uh, it, last then, James. Enjoy the show. Catch you all again for the next one. Cheers, Mark. Later, Lewis. See ya. See you later, Thank Lewis. You again. Hey, guys. Next been time. Been, been brilliant. Magic. Laters. Laters. Right. I'll let you... <laughs>